Hey, it's Alex from Android Central. Today we're taking a look at Tappertalk 4. This is a new version of the app that's just launched in beta. So if you browse a lot of forums on your phone, Tappertalk should be pretty familiar. It's by far the top forum browsing app on Android. And the new version adds a whole bunch of features which we're going to get into right now. First up, you've got single sign-in through Tappertalk ID. This lets you tie all your forum accounts to a single login, making it easier if you change devices a lot. We've also got a whole new UI based around Android's hollow design language. And of course, there's a dark version of this in the settings here. So jumping into the Android Central forum community here, you can see the way things are laid out. The main view shows you whatever you browse to, and uh, forums and threads are shown in a card-like layout. You've also got this pull-out menu area at the side, and this is something we've seen in a lot of Google apps, gives you access to all the main areas for that community, including category view, private messages, and all that good stuff. When you're viewing a thread, it's now really easy to swipe left and right to change pages, which is a really great new feature. There's some new stuff in the posting interface too. You get the quick reply panel down below and you can tap the plus icon to open up the full editor. From there you can insert URLs and images and stuff. And if you want to attach a photo then after choosing an image from your gallery or taking one on the camera, you get this fully featured image editor powered by Aviary. Uh, this gives you access to Instagram like filters as well as stuff like cropping, rotation, fine tuning, brightness and sharpness and stuff like that. Uh, and once you're done, you can attach it or post it inline. So some really great improvements in this latest version of Tapper Talk. It's out now in public beta on Google Play, and we've also got a full preview up on AndroidCentral.com. Thanks for watching.